Hello everyone, welcome back to GM Games, it's Coach Fury here and we are back today with our Let's Play series of the, the Charlotte Hornets and Lamello Ball um, seeing how we can uh, hopefully develop him into a, a, a top prospect um, you know, going from a, a, a rookie sensation in the NBA at the moment to hopefully becoming an all-star and, and one of the better players in the league First season's been, didn't do too well and um, we've got through to the draft, we, we picked up a fantastic draftee and we're just sort of working our way through this all at the minute. Um, so I guess where we are at the moment, um, we are nearly we are at the summer league. We've just done the contracts. We're just making some uh, some adjustments here, just looking at Lamelo Ball and and seeing whether we can make any further changes to uh, to his um, his ball actions. Really, um, his passing and handling is is, is pretty good. Still not shooting very well, so I'm trying to work out how we can fix that, really. Um, yeah, try and think of how we can do that. I'm not too sure at this stage. Um, we do have to invite our players to the Summer League, so it's no surprise there we are going to assign pretty much as many guys as we possibly can to the Summer League um, so that we can see how they work in action, really, together. Uh, most of our roster actually can go to the summer league, which is which is cool to see. Um, so we are going to assign as many of these as we possibly can, and advance. And we can obviously bring some guys in. Uh, I'm not too worried about who we bring in. We're not going to sign any of these guys anyway. We'll let them just auto assign us. So, in terms of our summer league depth chart, Ball is going to play point guard. Bridges, Miles is our number one draftee we picked um, last episode. Looks like a fantastic player already. I'm so excited to get him. And um, we have a real mixed bag of, of minutes being distributed. That's fine. In terms of our strategy, we'll keep it with. Um, we'll probably go. Let's have a look at Let's have a little look actually. What's the Mellow Ball's shooting like in terms of range? So he's 37% from downtown. Not bad. I mean I might I might for the purposes of um Summer League, um I might put us in a bit of uh, perimeter focus to see how that looks. And we'll just go with um let's go with some switching to see how that looks. So here we go Summer League, let's have a look. We don't have a game, I think, then. Oh, we do have a game. We played Philadelphia. Let's have a look how we got on. So we won by 11. Porter Jr., look at that, 35 and 13. I'm so happy we managed to get him in a trade. The Melo Ball, still 1 of 4, though. I mean, he's shooting from downtown, so that's fine. Turning over the ball a lot. But 8 assists, 6 turnovers is not great. Um, we st still need to work on him, I think. So in terms of strategy let's try and get him into some training again i wonder if we get him to shoot off the dribble rather than um catch and shoot because his dribbling ability is pretty good we can see how that looks so we win our first game of summer league we win our second game quite comfortably again Porter Jr. just wrecking Summer League, basically. You're, you're far too good for Summer League. The Mellow Ball there, 3 of 9, 2 of 6 for downtown. 6 assists, 1 turnover. That's much better. That's much more what I, what I want him to do. Um, in terms of our actual draft D, Miles is doing okay. Um, oh, okay, I can't see any of this at the minute. Okay, we'll have to just play that one by ear. Um, but yeah, we're 2 and 0 in Summer League. It's nice to actually have some wins um, after our terrible regular season performance. So he beat the Pistons by 10. Battle of the uh, number one, number two pick. Look at that. Three of 16, three of 10. They basically nullified each other. The Mellow Ball much better. Five of 10, six assists, one turnover. That's that's more what I want him to do. We're 3 0 in Summer League, though. That's crazy. 4 0 in Summer League. 
Michael Mikel Bridges with a good game there as well. Yeah, look, Ball's number's much better. 5 of 10, he's 2 from 6 from downtown, that's fine. 10 rebounds, 6 assists. See, that's the kind of numbers that I need you to pick up, put up, Lamella. If you do that, then, then you're going to look like a really good player. So we're now 4 0 in Summer League. 5 0 in Summer League. Look at that. We are wrecking people in Summer League. I mean, this was the actual NBA games. Mikael Bridges with another great performance there as well. Okay, ball shooting numbers not as great. But look at that, 14 assists to one turnover. That's 11 rebounds. He's averaging a triple double in Summer League um, in that game. I mean, the, the potential is definitely there. I've just got to work out how to unleash it in, in this, uh, this, this, um, in this team, really. We win another game against Atlanta. Caleb Martin there with some good numbers. Yeah, 10 and 2. Another win. Win by four in that one. One of four. Yeah, see. Just that shooting. If we can get that shooting up to like 45% or something, that would be phenomenal. And we beat Miami. I believe that means that we have won Summer League, I think. Okay, I think that means we've won the Summer League tournament. That is the end of, of this. Um, so let's take a little look at the uh, the stats from players. Don't know if we can. Uh, do I have to go into here? View Summer League roster. Uh, maybe I have to go into stats and I can view Summer League. Yeah, there we go. Right, so the ball shot 40% in Summer League. Still not great. 41% from downtown. Nine assists, two turnovers, six rebounds. I mean, the actual numbers are there for him. Definitely there. Catch and shoot. So we're, we're working to bring that down. I think that is maybe what's causing issues. Um, but we'll look at that. So Donnie Brown, our second round pick. Not the greatest three-point shoot, actually, which is surprising. Only 29%. Numbers are not too bad. Bridges had a good um, summer league, it looks like. Looking at that. Both Bridges actually did. Both Bridges. Jermaine Miles, you've got some shooting challenges, it looks like. We'll have to try and work that one out through the season. PJ Washington is probably looking like a bit of a dud at this point. Um, probably not done much work on him, actually. Yeah, he's, we just want you under the basket, to be perfectly honest with you. Let's, um, let's see if we can adjust you. Actually, let's just double check. What's, what's he actually doing at the minute? A bit of everything. Drive and pass, drive and shoot, catch and shoot, pull up jumper. I probably want less catch and shoot. Let's try and reduce that down. There you are. One more. Less. We want you to post up more. Less catch and shoot. There we go. Right. Back to stats. Yeah. This guy is going to be good as well. Oyenka. I'm, I'm really excited to see how. He, I think I'm predominantly going to play him at centre. Um, and just run a bit of small ball. Um, Richards, you didn't play much. Porter. Junior, you look like you're going to be a star, so that's good. And that um, that's looking, we're looking okay. We're looking okay. Um, let's look at his, the shooting stats. So Miles, two point percentage is terrible. But that's because you're not a great outside shooter. What's your stats look like? Corner three, mid range, post up. I think I want you driving more to be perfectly honest with you. Less pull ups and let's drive you. I think you, you can draw fouls, so we'll certainly see if we can use that. So one month. 
drive and shoot more. Yes, yeah, so you can't get rid of the pull up. I think we'll just do less catch and shoot and see how that looks. So we are now in the realm of, of free agency. We should really take a little look at the emails and see how that looks. So we looked at that. So where is it? Free agency evaluation, that's what we want. So top free agents. Um John Collins is interesting. Uh, money's not pro priority. Looking to play with better talent. Yeah, they're all going to be looking to play with better talent than us because, well, we don't have that much at the minute. We've got quite a lot of youngsters. Money's not the top priority for these guys. They want to get paid. They're all looking for playing time. So we've got, in terms of John Collins, Drummond, DeRozan, Whiteside, Oladipo, Lowry, Graham, Lonzo Ball. Oh, look, we could try and bring the Ball brothers together. That would be quite fun. Maybe we could play Lamelo off the ball then. Hmm. Interesting. Worth a, worth a look. So, in terms of free agency, how does this look? How do the top guys look? So, we have in a total cap room of 9 million. So, we don't have a great deal to play with. So probably not going to be able to get someone like a John Collins who's a restricted free agent. Harold's interesting because Harold's was surprisingly good um, in this in the the championship run for the Lakers. I mean, a lot of these guys are going to be wanting more money than we we can certainly offer. Uh, Lamelo Ball is interesting. Um, what's he after? He's after twenty two million. Okay, we're not we can't afford that. Uh, in terms of what we've got here, so I mean. Yeah, because we're paying Gallinari 20 million. So we probably want to try and move you. I wonder if anyone would be interested in you at this stage. I mean, because we've got Porter Jr. coming through, I kind of want to give him the minutes. So let's just see. Let's see if we can. Maybe someone might buy on him. Oh, here we go. So we've got to give out a first and second round pick, but they're going to give us Rawlins, Akaro. Akaro. What does Rawlings actually look like? Okay. Mm. We don't actually get that much cap back left either because we get only about 7 million back, which is not really what I wanted to do. I need to of these picks off here actually because I don't want to move them. Let's see, see if we can get any other offers for him. If not, he might end up just being a nice expiring pick. Yeah, okay, so Bam added bio we can get. Oh, that's actually not a bad offer. I don't need. Hmm. I really wish you could click in and actually see the player card. It's a first round pick next year, which is likely to be a top 10 pick again. But we do get a chance at an actual star. Let me have a look at you. Are you actually like a genuinely oh, okay, you are actually a genuinely good star. You're a defender. I could throw you in at center. Twenty eight million though, it means all of our salary's gone. Oof, that's a tough, tough decision. We'll come back to that, Miami. We'll come back to that in a minute. I'm I'm still mulling that one. Okay, so they're offering us Anthony Edwards. He's on a one year, 10 million deal. Luke Kennard's 14 million, four years. Okay, I'm not, I'm not paying that. Sorry, Minnesota, you can, you can keep those guys. We should certainly 
I think I have a little bit of a shop of some of our guys here. It looks like there's more offers on the table than we normally get at the trade deadline. Okay, so we've got a couple of things to consider there. I mean, I'd be interested to see if we can... We've got Hayward. I'd be really interested to see what we could get for Washington. I'm, I'm quite open to moving him. If we could get like a first round pick for him, it'd be a no brainer to move him because we just we just don't need him. Wow, nobody wants him. Huh. Not a single team. Why have I got a first round pick guy up there? Don't want to get rid of my first round pick. Go back. Alright, okay. Wow, really, no one. No one wants him. Okay, no one wants you. <laughs> Washington, you're stuck with me for a bit then. Is there anyone else I want to put out there in terms of trade bait? I mean, Carrie. Carrie is interesting because I mean he's got some potential, so maybe someone would want to pick him up. guess he probably hasn't had that many minutes to really show what he's capable of which is probably why no one's really interested in him okay I mean Hayward I mean if it was Hayward for Bam Adebayo I'd, I'd, I wouldn't mind that Adebayo I'd... yeah I don't think you're getting much for Hayward interesting though that we can Interesting that Gallinari is of, of interest, it seems. Hmm. Tough decision. Okay, they don't do that deal again for some reason. It would mean that we'd have no salary left. But we would get a legit center, which we don't actually have at the minute. Do lose our first round pick though, that's the only other thing. In terms of extensions, these guys, okay, you want silly money. I mean we do have we do have this guy who I think is going to be just as good Bianca I think you're going to be just as good so I think I think we will leave that on for now I don't think we need to make that trade at this moment in time oh the other two brothers are there hmm okay I think well I think we'll leave it there guys we haven't really progressed too much we've done the summer league we won the summer league which is great um, we do have free agency coming up. We'll have to be quite selective of how we spend this nine million. Um, I'll have a little hunt round off the off the show and off the let's play and, and have a look to see what else, what other prospects we could pick up. But um, yeah, we'll see how free agency goes. But we looks like we're going to be heading into the season pretty much with the roster as is. Um, 
I'm, I'm pretty happy with that actually. I think we've got quite a, a nice deep team here. And we'll see how that plays out. But maybe we'll get a couple of bargains with that $9 million we've got left to play with. Uh, maybe pick some, some guys up there. I mean, initial thoughts are that we probably need uh, someone else in that sort of the guard position. Um, we obviously probably need a backup point guard. We probably also need just some additional help in terms of shooting in, in sort of the backcourt. We'll see how that looks. Um, I'm pretty happy with the front court though. We probably need a blocker in terms of a, a, a five blocker because Onyenka is going to take most of those minutes, but we don't really have anyone else outside of that who's just a post presence who can run that sort of pick and roll and, and just grab boards for us and just be ugly. Um, we'll, we'll probably need that as well. So that's probably where I think we'll spend most of our money. But um, we'll see what happens next time in, in free agency and see how it plays out. And we'll, we'll follow how the top guys do. We'll obviously keep an eye on how Lonzo Ball, we'll, whether he um, whether we can snag him or not, I don't know. But uh, I don't think we will. He wants too much money. But we'll see where he goes because that'll be funny. Um, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll come back next time with, with free agency.